Someone recently asked me, can I use the Apple Fitness app without an Apple Watch? My usual quick answer is no. But maybe you've noticed a new icon on your updated iOS 16 iPhone, and now the answer is yes. I'll explain how to set it up in this video. Thanks for joining me on Ellen's Tips for iOS, where I help seniors master their iPhones and iPads. With the new iOS 16 update, you can use the Apple Fitness app to track your steps and other activity without an Apple Watch. I'll walk you through the initial setup and get you started on tracking your health. Let's get started. To set up the Fitness app, launch the Apple Fitness app. You should see a welcome screen. If you've opened the app before, you'll likely not see the welcome message. Tap the Continue button. You'll be prompted to confirm your health data. If you've already set this up, everything may be correct. If not, tap into the section and edit the correct info. Once the information is correct, tap on the Continue button. Now you need to add your daily move goal. You can tap on Lightly, Moderately, or Highly buttons or you can just use the plus or minus icons next to the calorie number. These can all be adjusted later as you meet your goals. When finished, tap on Set Move Goal. Now the app will ask if you wish to receive notifications. Choose Allow or Don't Allow depending on whether you wish to receive notifications or not. Now we've reached the main screen where you'll see your activity listed. If you want to learn more about trends, tap on Get Started and then tap OK when finished. Back on the summary screen, you can invite family and friends to share their fitness activity with you. Go ahead and tap on the sharing icon in the lower right corner. Select the contacts icon in the upper right corner and tap on the plus icon. Search your contacts and select the ones you want to share an activity with. Once your setup is complete, there will be an account icon in the upper right corner of your screen. Tap on it to open the main settings area. Here, you can make the changes to your settings or the information you chose during app setup. Now, the fitness app will track your steps, flights of stairs, calories burned, and other activity information. Another vital setting we need to check is motion calibration and distance settings. Otherwise, step and activity tracking will not work correctly or at all. And to do that, you're going to want to come into the settings app. You're going to locate uh, privacy and security. Tap on location services. Make sure that this toggle switch is turned on. Scroll to the very bottom of this page. Tap on system services. And just make sure that motion, calibration, and distance that switch is toggled on. Now we're ready to go. Let me give you a peek into the fitness app on um, my device because I've been using it for quite a few years. So if I open the fitness app and I come into the summary page, to the top of the summary is your account details. So if I click on that, here is where you would change like your health details. So if you were to gain or lose weight, you could make that change in there. You can, you know, if, if someone was in a wheelchair, they would toggle on this wheelchair uh, switch and it would be calling their pushes instead of steps. Let me tap on account to come back. You can change your goals. So I can change my move goal how many calories I burned. If I tap on next, I can change my uh, exercise goal. If I tap on change exercise goal, I have the option to change my stand goal. I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel to come back to this area. If I tap into the uh, rings, I get a little more detail. You, you get the like where you were, where you were most active during the day, how many minutes you've been active. 
you'll see your steps and distance. And you have an option here to go back and change your goals. Here you would see your flights climbed. I'm going to tap on back. Well, let me come back into that and show you. You can get even more detail. You can go into the uh, calendar area and scroll back and see your fitness activity, you know, from the very beginning, from the time you started using uh, the app. I'll hit cancel and come back. I'm going to tap back in the upper left corner. Below that, you're, you'll see my workouts from my Apple Watch. And the Apple Watch goes into a lot more detail. So if I tap into one of my workouts, you'll see that it gives me the workout time, the distance, the calories burned, the average pace. Uh, it gives me my heart rate. It, tell, it, it shows me a map and it shows me, you know, what the weather was like on that particular day. So a lot more detail inside of each workout. If I scroll to the next section, uh, I have mindfulness here. I really don't use it, but you can add some things from the uh, health app. Mindfulness is one of them, I believe, as well as uh, washing your hands, those types of things. And below that, you'll see the trends. So as you start to create a uh, fitness schedule or a workout schedule, you'll see these trends appear. And as time goes on, those trends will change. So as you're exercising more, it will tell you that, that your trends are changing and they're, or they're going up. Or if you start to slack off, they'll say, oh, you're not walking as much this week. They're going down a little bit. And then below that, you'll see awards. And these are like uh, just little awards that Apple gives out when you achieve a particular goal or if they have a particular challenge in a month and you meet that challenge, then, they, then you get this little reward. Along the bottom, you'll see the sharing option and you'll see that I share with my nephew. We share our uh, fitness goals with each other and uh, at the top is where you could send somebody a, a sharing option. So you would click that and then hit the plus sign, choose the people who have, you know, an Apple watch or an Apple phone that you could share your fitness with and then send them a message. And now you'll be sharing fitness uh, data with each other. I'm going to go ahead and tap on done and I'll come back to the bottom. Fitness plus is Apple's workout. Uh, area where you can choose workouts to use and, and use AirPlay to put them on a, a TV or watch them from your phone. And basically, they were only for Apple Watch people, but I think that's changing. I think in the updates now, Apple is uh, allowing this to come to the iPhone only. I don't know if it's happened yet or when it will happen, but I think eventually it is coming to the iPhone. So that's a look at my Apple Fitness. Now we're ready to go. If you want the best benefits of the fitness app, I highly recommend purchasing an Apple Watch. But for now, the iPhone will do. You'll find a link in the video description of the Apple gear I use. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, drop them in the comments section below. Are you using the new fitness app on the iPhone? Tell me how it's working out for you. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.